Good morning. This is only the very start of the Albanian presidency of the Security Council, and we are already bringing for discussion to the Council an issue of utmost relevance, accountability. In a few minutes, I'll have the honor and the pleasure to chair on behalf of the Albanian presidency an open debate on strengthening accountability and justice for serious violations of international law, upholding international law and the UN Charter, protection and promotion of human rights and support for the UN system and multilateralism are the core of Albania's foreign policy. They are as well main priorities of our mandate in the Security Council. We live in times where conflicts and their devastating consequences for civilians and civilian infrastructure have become pervasive and deadlier. The devastating toll on civilians, including the alarming levels of food insecurity, potentially leading to unprecedented hunger in our lifetime, make the need for more effective accountability a very key issue for the United Nations and its member states. Further, as we have all seen, Russia's war in Ukraine, which poses multiple challenges and threats worldwide, has only reinforced this necessity. Accountability for crimes and gross violations, including individual accountability under criminal law, is key to reinstating public trust in justice and security institutions, including the Security Council, and to rebuild the rule of law and sustainable peace. As we all know, the issue of accountability remains central in the international community's collective measures to suppress acts of aggression. The objectives of today's debate are threefold. First, to enhance the role of the international community to hold states and those who act on their behalf accountable for serious violations of international law. Second, to strengthen auto accountability mechanisms, not only at the state level, but also at the regional and international level. And third, to bring the necessary attention to victims, establishing the truth about international crimes and gross violations of international human rights and serious violations of international humanitarian law is essential to restoring the rights and dignity of victims and their relatives. It is also critical to advance towards peace and reconciliation. For too long, we have watched the perpetrators of serious violations of international law go free without consequence. We should let no one believe that they may commit crimes and get away with it. It has happened far too often everywhere. It should not be tolerated. It should not be accepted. We must do everything in our power to recommit to our core norms and values and redouble efforts to enforce compliance with and respect for the law. It is therefore important that we work together, abide by the international law and the UN principles and goals as enshrined in the UN Charter. Effective accountability will contribute to peace, reconciliation, and increase security, to build democracy locally, regionally, and globally, and to protect and promote human rights everywhere. We must do whatever it takes to make the world small and smaller for perpetrators by using the tools and the accountability mechanisms through justice. Impunity should be history. Thank you.